Hey friends, David Watts. Another Luminar video for you. Hope these help you to uh, have a little fun editing your photos, find new ways to be more creative in your photo editing, and hope all this helps a little bit. I want to show you a powerful filter. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. You'll see it right here on my screen. By the way, you'll notice my filters are all collapsed. If you like that sort of approach, what you can do is come in here to Filters and uh, check this box, uh, check this menu item, Single View Mode. You'll see how that works as we go along, but basically it keeps everything collapsed until you open another one. So um, if we open Clarity, HSL collapsed. If we open HSL, then the others collapse. Just may help you keep focused and uh, help you be organized a little bit more. Anyway, Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. So here's a picture I took. This was actually taken with a Fuji X10. I have to say it right. Uh, the X10 came out like in 2011. So it's a seven-year-old camera. I dug it out a month or so back. Took some pictures outside. Does a nice job. Doesn't produce huge file sizes, but does a really nice job. Anyway, let's uh, turn the filter off for just a moment so we start kind of fresh. Here was the picture basically as it came out of the camera. What if we wanted to really accentuate, uh, I'm going to get rid of this filter or this uh, brush, what if we really wanted to accentuate these areas of moss growing on the bark? Well, that's the situation where this hue, saturation, and luminance filter really can come into play. Let's turn it back on and watch what happens. Voila, a lot of vibrance here. You might say it's too vibrant, it's not realistic, and that, of course, is going to be the art part of this, and you can season to your taste. But here's how the thing works, and let's just go ahead and kill it off so we can put it in fresh, and you can see exactly what we did here. So it is uh, down here in the professional section, hue, saturation, and luminance. Open it up. And so we have all of these colors and if you have something that corresponds pretty closely, then you're in good luck. And let's just start by increasing the saturation of the greens. Right away, you'll notice all of this back here, the background, as well as the moss, really took a big bump in terms of saturation, right? All right. So that's a good start if you want to accentuate that. We can also use the luminance to bring up, think of this as the brightness, okay? So we have saturation, sort of the richness of the color, and luminance, the brightness of the color. Okay? You can also play with hue to sort of change that composition of the color, if you will. As we go back and forth, you can especially see it in the background. And you can, of course, get some pretty unrealistic effects if you wanted to. Let's just set that back to about default of zero. So the point being we can selectively target these colors, boost the saturation, boost the luminance. Now, you will see a problem with this and that it also uh, affected the background and probably made it look unrealistic. So that's where our brush comes into play. Let's brush. And instead of painting this, this filter in, rather, and we're already set up this way, let's erase the effects of this filter from this area see that start to happen as we just brush over here to the right. And you will see this return to its pre-filter kind of subdued color scheme. Hope that makes sense. You can click on this eye right over here to see where the filter has been applied. You can see we've left the filter basically on the, the tree trunk. We have a little place down here we want to clean up a bit. And uh, there we go. So everything's pretty clean. Oops, clicked on the wrong thing there. So what this allows us to do then is focus that impact on the tree trunk, which is where the green moss is, and that will provide the boost that we're looking for, and we've done it selectively. So pretty handy. Let me show you one other example. And this was also taken with the same camera, the old Fuji X10. And so what we've done here, let's take the HSL filter off. This was basically how it came out of the camera. What if we want to make that leaf more punchy, more bright, more vivid? Well, there are other tools we could use. You might could mess around with saturation or luminance, but they will tend to have an effect on all the colors uh, in your image. 
Whereas with this filter, we can selectively target those colors. You see what I've done? I've taken the red and boosted that. All right, so you can see how I can take it from a really desaturated look all the way up to something that you know would probably be too unrealistic. But I might back it off right about in this area. And I can do the same sort of adjustment with luminance. I can really tone down the brightness of that color or bring up the brightness of the color. And I'm just operating essentially on what we would define as red. Now, here's the other thing we can do is tweak the hue of that color. So watch what happens if I move it all the way over here. Ah, oh, terrible. That's you know awful. It's, uh, it's not realistic. It's not worth anything. What if I really wanted to just change the look of that color, though, to yellow? Look at that. I started with a red leaf, a kind of red, orangish yellow. And I've essentially changed it in a completely natural way to a yellow leaf. So that's kind of handy. That'll come in, come in handy somewhere along the way. So that's really it. Just wanted to show you hue, saturation, and luminance. Powerful little filter. Play with it. Experiment. See what you get. Have some fun. That's the goal of this. Have a little fun editing your photos. Learn to, to do that more effectively, more efficiently. That's what I hope we can encourage you with. That's it for now. We'll catch you next time. Have a good day.